Inside the hospital, the atmosphere was heavy with security and expectancy. It was 11.47. The girl was expected. Her name is Louise, and her parents are Leslie and John Brown, and I am pleased to present this happy family to you. The book finally tells the story from mum and dad's point of view. I mean, everybody's read the newspapers. Um, this obviously is first hand, so it's the whole truth, and it's just nice to get mum and dad's point across. Is a tribute to Bob Edwards, Patrick Steptoe and their team, because without them, I wouldn't be here. They went from a normal couple from Bristol, not being known by anybody, to being in the spotlight and how emotional that mum and dad must have felt and how they reacted. A sister came in and she said, um, Ms. Brown, she said, there's um, a security guard come, coming up to take you down to see your baby. As I got, I think it was about five yards away from the actual double doors which leads into the um, theater um, reception. I could hear this baby screaming her head off. <laughs> she was taken from the incubator then and put into my arms. And I think I had her for about two or three minutes. And I had to give her back, you know, I was, I was just shaken. What was that moment like for you? Um, I don't think there's any words, uh, I could explain it. It was one of the biggest stories of the latter part of the 20th century, the birth of test tube baby Louise Brown. And I vividly remember the day when she arrived home in Bristol. I was among the hundreds of uh, film crews, photographers and pressmen from all over the world. And I remember a little incident at the time when we tried to have the door open of the ambulance that uh, baby Louise was in and I put my hand between the door and the uh, body of the car and a minder that was protecting baby Louise pushed the door and I screamed. I've never had such agony all my life. Well, I just got hold of the microphone. I whacked the uh, minder and he fell back. The door opened and I managed to escape. And the tragedy is we never did get a picture. The first couple of years, we went around the world. We went to the USA, we went to Japan. Um, we went on television shows, um, interviews, rushed from place to place, uh, all in the space of, well, before I was two years old. So it was completely and utterly, I don't think you'd even think how manic it was. Louisa Jambas, Lodo. Eventually mum and dad had had enough and they just wanted me to have a normal upbringing and took me out of the spotlight. I suppose I'm part of history now and um, it's pretty strange because one minute I'm being asked to do interviews and go on TV and do trips to Bulgaria and Brazil um, and the next minute I'm at home just being a normal mum to my two boys. I don't suppose there are many people that can say within hours of being born they were world famous. I believe there are over 5 million IVF babies and I guess I'm part of their history now.